So platform shifts and paradigm shifts are quite unique for probably the last three decades, mm -hmm. right? So there have been platform shifts and paradigm shifts all the time, but the last two or three decades have been specific to have implications to financial services, right? So let's rewind back about, you know, a couple of decades and look at in the whole shift to cloud. So shift to cloud uh, is a platform shift. Uh, right, so it sort of gave you on-demand computing um, and so on. Yeah. Uh, but you know, did it significantly change the way you did business? I should probably say for financial services, you know, while you know you had to keep your data safe and secure, did not significantly change. But it did position ourselves to deliver superior client experience. That platform shift to cloud then enabled several other possibilities right so then came mobile and then that basically bought a new way of delivering services and and platform shift with and the ability to have certain amount of computing power in your pocket then led to a paradigm shift called branchless banking right so right. digital banking ability to pay wherever you want and without using plastic it's almost like scaffolding I've, there there are platform shifts coming and then that's why I keep saying if you don't transition uh, to platforms and then think about transformation you will miss paradigm shift opportunities so these days everything builds on top of another right so they say you stand on the shoulders of giants yeah. so each platform shift is like that right so as you shift and you got to basically move and every move positions yourself to sort of be ready for the paradigm shift. So we talked about the cloud that enabled mobile mm -hmm. and then that basically bought a new way of delivering. And and it is when the paradigm shifts happen, breakthroughs also come through, right? If you, again, going back to our conversation on South and South Southeast Asia, it is the paradigm shift that basically gave an opportunity to a number of entrepreneurs then to break through yep. and deliver services in that last mile uh, using completely digital experiences or digital channels. So without cloud, there is no mobile. Without mobile, there is no last mile digital channel. And without that, there is no Uber, Deliveroo, you know, a bunch of these brands which came out of the woods in the early 2010s. And now there, there, there's a lot of, you know, multi-billion dollar companies on the back of that. And then what are the new economy companies asking for financial services, right? They're asking to embed payments. They're asking to embed insurance. They're asking to embed wealth services into those delivery channels. And suddenly you have a new crop of SMEs and also SMBs that demand services in a different way. They don't want to walk into a branch. They want to be able to select, filter, and accept a service. That means the bank's own infrastructure has to be ready to be able to embed into into these kind of channels. Yes. So that's the evolving opportunity, I think. And that's primarily where you know, technology becomes front center of developing core services and then extending them off to uh, serve new demands from our clients.